Hey everybody, it's Brian again, another Java tutorial. We just finished rock, paper, scissors in my last video tutorial series. Um, I think I said something about that I wanted to make it a two-player game. I'm not going to do that. Uh, it, I kind of started to do it, and then I was like, well, this is kind of ridiculous because you can see what the opponent chooses first, and then, you know, so it just didn't really fit. The two-player rock, paper, scissors game. I'm just going to call it good for rock, paper, scissors. So if you want to see those videos, go ahead and check those out. Um, but today we're going to build a game called Pig. Uh, Pig is a, a dice game for two players, and how it works is first to 100 wins. Now, how do you add points? Well, player one player rolls at a time. You can roll as many times as you like and continue to add to your total points um, until you say stop, right? And then those you cash those points in. But if you roll a one on that turn, all those points for that turn are erased, right? So you could roll a six, a six, a six, and if you don't stop, you know eventually you're going to roll a one, and then you'll lose all those points for that turn. Um, but you can stop at any time. So it's a little bit of a strategy game. It's kind of fun. So let's go ahead and start building it. Another chance to use abstraction when writing programs. I think this is a great exercise for that. Again, let's take a look at rock, paper, scissors. And if you didn't watch that tutorial, that's okay. What, you can still see the main idea of what I am calling abstraction. My entire game loop for rock, paper, scissors is right here. Okay, you can see it all in one screen. And that's pretty um, important to me as a when I'm writing programs, uh, that I can kind of see a big picture view about what happens, right? So you can kind of see that prompt user choice is happening somewhere else, prompt computer choice is happening somewhere else, um, and so on, right? Um, if you really are interested in seeing how those work, you can go down and, and look at them, right? You can look at, uh, let's see, prompt computer choice is right here, prompt user choice is right here. Rather than having that all sitting in the same block, right? Uh, this is much more readable. And if you really are interested in how things are working, you can go find out. And I think it's good programming practice to do that. So let's keep practicing that theme today. So let's make a game called Pig Game. And this is going to be how I do it, right? So I'm just going to 